to today. I got my riding hair on, I got my trusty flag, and we are ready to do another episode of Sundays with Penny, her Laura and Penny show, or I don't even know what it is. But before we do that, Happy New Year again. Happy morning, happy day. Hope you're all doing amazing. Girls are clearly exactly where we always find them during vacation time. They are vacationing at home. Melt this? Sure, it's I'll. Cold. Sure. It's just melting. You don't want it anymore? Hey, that's my Pepsi. You can't have my Pepsi. You can't really tell, but I did a huge cleanup today of this room. In fact, I did a huge cleanup of like a lot of stuff. You might not be able to tell because it's still our office, our dining room, our school room, but I did manage to clean up a lot of stuff. Clean up our shelving system a bit, clean up over here a little bit. Like it is a lot better than what it was. We're just still getting there a little bit every day. That's what has to happen. I love January for the fact that you can organize and clean and get rid of junk. That's what I do every January after Christmas is gone. I purge and change things around and I do a lot of stuff like that. But anyways, something exciting that happened was over Christmas, if you guys have been following the videos, I got, we got a Cricut Maker. It is a machine that uh, can do so many things and Sam wants to make decals for our horse trailer and I'm excited about making decals. Uh, somebody sent me information on how to do it, make it easier for me and that's exciting. More exciting than that for me is when my kids take over and really want to learn something too because that's what education is all about, wanting to learn. And I came downstairs today, and <laughs> Sophie is making a cup. Did you show them this cup in yesterday's video? Uh, yeah. So Sophie got a, a glass, and she put a Dalmatian head on it last night, if you saw yesterday's video. There's like a little Dalmatian head underneath there. And so I came downstairs, and she's already working on more stuff. She has a horse head, and it's adorable. There it is. Whoop. That is going to be such a special cup. I'm already so excited. And then I'll, I'll put One more my, thing. We we'll always love you or something. We we'll always love you? Or you want to put words? I think you should put one more head. One more animal head, like a bunny. Or, like, they have really cute bunnies. Anyway, so many amazing things. Look at this. This is where she's not allowed to be. Anytime a dog goes outside and Daisy doesn't go, she watches. Penny's already looking, you guys. She's already looking. What I love about horses is, oh, I forgot to get treats. What I love about horses is that there are so many ways to do the same job and do the same thing, like so many ways. And so many people have the way that works for them and that they know and that they love, and I love that. What I don't like about horses what I don't like about horses is that sometimes people get really attached to their way and they feel that if somebody has a different way that they're trying to say their way is wrong or their way is bad and that's not true at all. The truth is that there are many, many ways to do parenting, to grow a business, to be successful, to have horses, to train dogs and to have dogs and the only thing that's universal is that people do things the way that makes sense to them and the way that works best for them and I think that's fantastic. Hello, hello beautiful lady, hello. <laughs> I, it's, not a, it's not a Gracie day. It's not a Gracie day, but we should make it a, a Gracie day, shouldn't we? Shouldn't we make it a Gracie day? All right, look out, Missy. I got things to do and people to see and horses to train. She's like, Laura, you are not a horse trainer. <laughs> She's not taking me seriously, is she? It is zero degrees, also known as 30 degrees Fahrenheit in the barn. Gabby said it's minus seven, but in the barn, it's zero degrees. Apparently minus seven degrees outside of the barn. Look at that cute nose. Look at that, look at those cute teeth. Gracie, you need to brush your teeth. <laughs> She's like, my teeth are just fine, thank you very much. Now give me a treat and I'll show you how good they are. <laughs> She's so cute. Hello, kitty. Hello. He really likes it when we come down without the dogs. When, he comes, when we come down with the dogs, he always runs off. So that's why you guys don't often see him, especially in the mornings. Oh, because he's not a dog lover. He's a people lover. On this episode, 
episode of Penny and Laura, or Journey with Penny. What should I call it, you guys? So in today's episode, you should know that Penny's doing so good and I'm ready to take her on trails with friends and do so many things with her. But I've noticed that there's one thing that she does not do well. Sometimes when Penny hears a horse coming up behind her or many horses coming up behind her, she gets upset and nervous and she turns her whole entire body to see what's coming. I know that some horses struggle with switching eyes to see behind them and that it's similar to us. They kind of get lazy, they have a dominant eye so they kind of get lazy and they lose that ability or they struggle with it for other reasons and Penny does have weird eyes so it makes sense to me. So my ultimate goal is to teach her and remind her that she can just switch eyes instead of having to turn her whole entire body around when horses come running up behind her. And so to do that, I'm going to use my new flag that I got for Christmas. However, talking to a friend, she explained to me that I need to desensitize Penny to the flag first, which is what today is all about. So I have an activity planned for today to try and desensitize Penny to the flag so that I can teach her to use both eyes correctly again before we begin our trail riding journey. That is my last major thing that I want to do with Penny before we start trail riding with friends this spring. So that's today, that's what I'm gonna be doing. You guys who have been following our journey know that Penny, when I got her, was terrified of crops and whips anything that can swing, she is terrified of them. And I have gotten her so used to brooms that I can sweep underneath her feet in the cross ties now. And she wasn't able to do that before, so I have high hopes that this will be something that we can work on five minutes every day and eventually she'll be so good at things coming at her that she won't feel frightened. So let's get started. So far, so good. She said no. <laughs> she said no. Oh, here's the coming. She just wanted to see. <laughs> Come on, Ted. In the past, Penny has been terrified by anything that looks like a crop or a whip or a flag or a broom. And so I just wanted to show it to her and let her realize that it's not scary. It's not scary. Good girl, yeah. Yeah, good girl. So this is huge. In the past, Penny would have freaked out over this flag. Yeah, just doing <laughs> I, I watched a video and this is not what it said to do. <laughs> but she looks so calm and I'm moving it a little. Good girl, yeah. Yeah, I love that Penny Pickle. Yeah. So I am going to do a little bit more movement. And my horse does not even seem to care. Does not even seem, she's a little nervous. Look at her, she's not nervous but she's looking. She's looking. Good girl, yeah. You see the flag? See, she's looking away. Look at my flag. You see it? She lowered her head. Good girl. So uh, now that she's like showing me that she's not super afraid of my flag and she's not super freaking out, like I hardly even have a handle on my lead rope. She's looking. She doesn't care. Moving a little bit faster. My girl's only looking at me. And this is, oh, look. Look and see my flag. Good girl, yeah. Guys, is she doing good? <laughs> Are you doing good? You're such a good girl. For this next part, 
I am going to ask Penny to follow me while I swing the flag and make her move forward. Not even concerned at all. This last part of the exercise that I want to do with Penny today is to move the flag all around her body and focus on areas where she feels scared or nervous or appears scared or nervous and work through it. Yeah. I'm watching for things yeah. like licking and chewing and signs of relaxation from going to take a little while for me to get used to this stuff. I'm not used to looking for this stuff in a horse, but I'm trying to learn it and I'm just doing my best here, so bear with me. I'm stopping because she's licking and chewing. Once she's ready, she like she understands this now. That's how fast she learns. She get she's done this now. Like she she understands this. Look, I'm going so fast now. It's rewarding for her. People, sometimes people don't. That's why I like her to have treats because it makes her want to be a part of this. All right, that is it. We're done for today. I want to end it while it's fresh in her head and she did such a good job and I'm so proud of her. And I've said this before, Penny's trained. Penny is a completely trained horse. What I'm doing with her right now is just refreshing her memory and also training myself. Sometimes I feel like, especially with horses like Penny, all this training that I'm trying to do is just for me. It's, it's I'm training Laura, I'm not training Penny. <laughs> But it was so fun. An English hunter jumper stuff, like we've never gone to a barn and they've taught us horsemanship or any of that kind of stuff. And that's where I feel like horsemanship and horse riding should begin. Like that was so amazing to be able to do that with her. You were so good. A lot of people don't believe in giving horse treat, horses treats like we do with dogs because they're different. They're a different animal, they're a prey animal, and it makes it different, but I'll tell you what I find. What I've noticed in our horses is that when we offer them treats for, for performing for us or for doing stuff for us and with us, it makes them want to be here. So instead of 
me making a penny be an active participant in what I want to do right now, I feel like offering her a reward like a treat make changes that and makes her a willing participant. You guys have seen it so many times how when we walk into the arena, the girls always get so excited because they think we're gonna work with them. They want to work with us. Maybe horses will do that if you don't give them treats. But in my experience, maybe we just have lazy horses. Penny's not lazy though, she's like me. Maybe our boy horses are just lazy, but I never had a horse come up to me and say, let's work, let's work before and I feel like it's the treats it's like giving them something just as rewarding as what they're giving to me so that's why I give her treats and that's why I train with treats even the kitty was watching <laughs> even the kitty was waiting to see what would happen I don't always want to be the girl that makes them do work I want to be the girl that hangs out with them and spends time with them and rewards them for doing things that I ask I also don't want to leave my flag down here because I don't want it to get dirty because I love it so much. You guys, this is retractable. The whole flag minus the flag part goes into this little tiny part here so I can carry it places with me. One of the things that I love about this is that things like this can be done in a little quick short session. So I can come down and feed her lunch and then and then spend five minutes doing that every single day or like three times a week and she learns so fast and it, like she could be amazing in such a short amount of time being able to do that. I love little exercises that you can work on so fast and I know most of you guys already know all this stuff and I know I'm just learning it but I'm happy to be learning it and I'm happy to be sharing me at learning it and because it's in sharing our differences that we learn to be different people and difference and being different is the way to go. If you're always exactly like everybody else, imagine the world that we would live in. Don't you know that you're beautiful?